Welcome to Battletech in the Morning with Captain Nips. I am Captain Nips, and today we're going to get the chocolate into the peanut butter, mix two things together, and hopefully come out with something delicious on the other side. Today, I'm going to combine Commander. concepts from two of my previous videos. So, the wombo combo, the knockdown, plus the headshot. We have found that that works quite well when correctly applied. And in my last video where I tried that, where I was punching well above my weight, we took some commandos and an urban mech to provide the kill shot and didn't really get there. But I realized in going back through what happened in that video that mistakes were made, clearly, but that we could also probably improve the process. I still think that that particular setup will work with a few minor changes and I may go back to it but I want to try something else that might be a little bit more robust in terms of a strategy and that's to combine the headshot with perhaps a better way to make a mech vulnerable and that's through shutting it the hell down. So we're going to grab ourselves some fire starters today because as I showed in my fire starter video once you get something overheated it's basically done it's not going to be able to fight back and it seems like it's probably easier at least at this point point. and again this is in the beta so these numbers are probably not maybe not completely cooked there's some tweaking to be done if you can get a shutdown, that probably seems like a more feasible way to make the enemy mechs vulnerable. Now again, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this light. I'm gonna grab grab ourselves an urban mech. The other thing that is important to note that I very much overlooked in my last video with the commandos and the urban mech is that when you make called shots it does not depend on the gunnery skill of the pilot. It depends on the tactics skill of the pilot. So, what we're gonna do instead today is we're actually gonna grab a pilot for our urban mech that has good tactics. Now I actually have another little thing in the back of my head here. So if we go to tactics, let me see what we got here. We got some eights. And what ideally I think I also want to avoid one of the last little bits of corner situation I was having problems with is sensor lock. So I want a pilot with good tactics so that he can make the called shots and sensor lock so that on the turns that this mech is not trying to go for a headshot, it's able to remove evasion from a targeted mech, kind of giving it a split roll. Now for the rest of the the rest of the lance, the fire starters, I think I still just want good gunnery because I want my flamers to hit. I'm taking paradise again because evasion. I can't I can't not take evasion. Um, but after that, we're gonna grab. I'm never gonna split my fire. Like the entire point of this lineup is to focus fire. Um, so let's grab Apex and one of the two remaining good shots. I could take Sumo. Do we redeem? Do we redeem Sumo? I think we redeem Sumo. Let's give let's give him another try. So the plan here today is going to be get into a position, let the fire starters overheat the mech that we're going to try and head cap follow through with the urban mech and if we need to make some adjustments on the fly for instance if the target mech is evading we have sensor lock or if we need to maybe pull back and do some dodging we've got paradise with his evasion and if for some reason we need precision strike we've got precision strike coming out the wazoo let's move ourselves back up to a bigger budget. I'm trying to remember which 
of these lances was the one that was giving me such a conniption. Was it in the heavy? I think this might have been it. No, no, because it was a victor and it was some mediums. There we go. And sure enough, like I, I, I mm, paradise and evasion and evictor. Man, that is, that is, that is something. All right, so let's just get to this. I'm going to head back to Alpine River. I'm going to get that ridge that I have now picked as an engagement location a few times. And this time, this time, we're going to make this work. By gum, we're going to make this work. Commencing deployment. Mech warriors, prepare for combat. It'll be interesting to see once Hairbrain releases the full product how the tuning on all of the different pieces of equipment has changed because based on that first flamer video like clearly flamers were overtuned i mean that's why they're not i don't think they're really in the beta the fire starters i had to edit the game files to get them in i don't think there are any other mechs by default that are equipped with them reporting So clearly, Have no doubt, not completely cooked there. All right, let's moving get moving. Oh, on the move. boy. All right, well. Gone, witness. Got it. Enemy off in the distance. Not yet. What's the plan? Let's keep moving. Commander. What's wow. up, Commander? Getting to the tree line no in two problem. turns from the spawn. That's what pretty impressive. I think I need to actually jump. Do I need to jump? I don't think jump. Taking the high road. Fly, little Irby. Let's get into position. Consider it done. Yeah, what can I do you for? Mm. Let's not go there. Kind of still want to put paradise on the front of the front edge of the line. I hear you. All right, so. Having all sorts of not being able to get there today. Here we go. Eventually we'll be able to break cover and, you know, get up to where the line is. Alright, so bunker down. And let witness catch up. No sweat. And here we go. Confirming new bogey. Hmm. New bogey on the field. Keeping that nice tight grouping. Alright, so. Three mediums and the victor. We still want them to come to us. So we're going to pull the reserve. I don't think they make it up into line... Oh. <laughs> well. 
Nothing like eating your words right out the gate, right? All right, so. Okay, so we need to do this in the right order because this mech evaded, this mech sprinted, so it's got evasion. We want our flamers to hit, which means I am going to want to cancel that first. I hear so I'm going to move witness, hopefully to a slightly more, well, okay, can't really get him to a protected position. Boy, that is not a lot of movement, but we can at least get him closer he doesn't need to be super close right now, but I do want to close some of this distance. And then we are going to sensor lock the hell out of this guy because we don't need that evasion to get in the way of our flamers. Well, here we go with the indirect fire or the direct fire. Wow, that came from downtown. That guy must be, like, over here somewhere. <laughs> okay, so. Evasion's gone. Reporting. Time to light this guy up. Ninety percent chance to hit. You know what, let's... Yeah, let's get a li just a little bit more... out of the reach of its friends. We actually don't need to go very far. Yeah, that's fine. I also want to keep the front arc there. I understand. Okay, so. Yeah, Paradise moves up. Paradise is going to have the shot on this griffin. Um, I'm actually going to disable the machine guns and the medium lasers. Because if the goal here is to shut this mech down and head cap it for salvage, we want to try and minimize the amount of damage we're doing to it. Because that would just cost us repairs later. All right, let's make with the flaming. All right, it's a good start. Got about half of its heat scale saturated in lovely, lovely flaming flames. Paradise doing the good work. Okay. Apex, your turn. Can we? Ooh, boy. I like her. I like her odds. I like her odds a lot. All right, so we'll move there. Target the Griffin. Turn off all the non-essential weapons. Light this guy up like a disposed Christmas tree. There we go, mech shut down. Okay, so now we've got the shutdown. I think we just reinforce that fact just a little bit. Why, though, Sumo, why are your numbers so garbage? Hmm. Something is puzzling why his percentage chance to hit is so bad. You, okay, so eh, we're going to aim for center mass. We're going to turn off the lasers, turn off the machine guns. We're just looking to apply more heat. I'm wondering if because the enemy mech is shut down and thus vulnerable, if it automatically defaults to tactics as the skill to fire the guns with instead of using gunnery. Like, if I could choose to not make a called shot here, is there is there a way for me to not choose a called shot? I don't like game. Don't want to make a called shot. Can I can I click can I click anywhere? Anywhere. No. It looks like I am being forced being forced to make a called shot. Which, given Sumo's very lackluster tactics score, makes this less of a value proposition instead if he were to be able to use his gunnery it'd be much better but let's neither here nor there this like the mech is shut down we just need to yeah we're just gonna we're gonna force this sucker straight into multiple overheats all the overheats we're gonna shut him down four times over his buddies aren't gonna be able to do indirect fire 
And now it's our turn. So now, here's where we bring in the witness. Can we just get the head cap from here? So 95% chance to hit from this location. That's that's good odds. I like that. And go for the called shot. Right over the shoulder of our friendly fire starter. Here we go. Let's see if this works. Uh -huh. That did not look like it worked. Okay, so now we're into backup plan. Witness needs to continue to only fire on targets that are shut down. So, what are we going to do? I'm going to take Apex aye, aye. and pull her back to the tree line. I'm actually going to have her sprint because she doesn't actually need to do anything right now. On my way. Double time. And the evasion, the extra evasion from sprinting will be helpful. Sumo, order. I'm going to have him do the same. Get into the trees. Because at this point, this, f this front line griffin, I should be oh, able to I keep know. it shut down with just, with just the one... 75% chance to hit is not great. Again, tactics. Tactics becoming vitally important to this tactic. Go figure. Um, but we are going to lay on the flames, and we're going to try... I think we'll be able to maintain a shutdown state on this mech with just... with just one mech firing at it. Yeah, see? It tries to wake up. And... Shot right back down. Okay, cool. So for now, for the at least for at least the immediate future, and I may need to have my yeah, that guy's just gonna keep having issues. So this is gonna get if I can't start getting headshots, even if I start getting all these guys shut down. If I don't get these headshots, this is gonna this is gonna go real south on me. All right, we're back at the top of the order. Back at the top of the order. So let's start with witness. I hear you. Mech is still shut down. We think, yes, Mech is shut down. Oh, that's gyro damage. That's cute. Probably from the overheat. Okay, so. AC-10, called shot, head, 95% chance to hit. Come on, let's not go over 2. What is it about this right arm that you were so interested in? Oh my god. Okay, so. Paradise needs to continue to put pressure on this griffin. Yes, Commander. And now that his buddy has showed up, oh, we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems. Okay. Awaiting orders. Now the rest of Headhunter Squad needs to get in on this guy. 85s. Why is it 85s? All right, let's see. Right here, 85s to hit. On the move. It's not great, but we're gonna fire two max worth of flamers at this guy. Why are we getting 85s to hit? Target moved. Target moved. That's it. Hmm. All right, that's fine. Got the flamers. Target locked. Ugh. And there's and there's where we really really wanted. Sensor lock, although we did manage to apply some heat scale damage. So we're not out of we're not out of luck. We're not completely out of luck yet. Is this gonna have reach? Just barely. And I'll be able to keep I think I'll be able to keep the forested location. Oh no. Or that'll just be the very front corner. Alright, that's fine. Everything's fine. Let's try this again. Flame on. Oh, you want some of 
Okay. So, did not quite get there. So this is going to turn into a real, real mess. Real fast. He's going to stay shut down. This is good. The, uh, huh. Alright, I see the AI has uh, fallen back on some of its old ways. Which, you know what, I am perfectly content with right now, given the way that this has gone so far. Ooh, boy. Yeah. Going after my Urbamech. It's not cool, man. Not cool. Alright, so the question is, is this Victor actually going to break cover? No. Alright, cool. So we got that going for us. Shadow Huck's no longer evading, so that's good. Paradise. Let's let's start with Paradise. Need you to move at least a little bit so we can get your evasion. And ideally, we're going to position you in a way that will get you shot from the front and not behind. I'm not going to worry about the Shadow Hawk in the trees for now because I am going to ideally shut his ass down with Apex and Sumo. Meanwhile. He's going down. Sure enough. Alright. Apex and Sumo. We're just gonna light you up. On my way. It's a good thing this is a cold map, because otherwise these trees would probably just go up in a blaze. Firing Speaking of blaze... Nice. Okay, so... We've actually managed to shut down on just one mech's worth of fire, because it, was ha it already took some incidental heat damage previously. Witness... What's up, Buddy. You only got six six shots left to head cap with. I really need you to uh I really, really need you to, you know. Is this guy in the forest? He is in the forest. Twenty five percent damage reduction against targets from the front or side. He has 60 total structure on, or 60 total health on the head. My auto cannon does 75%. 25% damage reduction is like. Hmm, I'm just trying to do the math to see if, even if I hit with the headshot, if this is going to head cap him through the trees. Um, I may need to actually move. I can't move enough. I think I just need to get in here and trust that my auto cannon is going to get the work done. Moving to position. Also get the small laser, so why not? Okay. Witness, we recruited you because your tactics are good, which should mean you should be able to land a head hit. Please, please make this happen. Nope, that's not it either. Hmm. Well, isn't this a situation? We are now 0 for 3 on attempts to head cap a shutdown mech. These numbers are not really working in my favor. Sumo. All right, so here's a, so we have a slight problem because we're not actually killing mechs. We're just shutting them down. I've got two of the mechs locked down, but that means I have to keep the pressure on them with flamers to keep them shut down. That Victor is gonna roll up the hill in a moment. And that means I only have one, f one fire starter left to try and suppress the Victor. 
which means it's going to get a couple of rounds of combat off on me, which is a real damn shame. So you know what? Here's what we're going to do. Just in case. I'm going to reserve sumo. Just in case one of these two guys wakes up. I don't think they will. Try to power up. Eat critical. Shut down. Okay, so that guy's still locked down. Nope, we're just going to reserve you all the way into assault mech phase. Alright, is he actually going to wake up, wake up? Mm, yes. Okay, so this is good. This is... Nope, don't want to quit. There's no quit in this fight. Alright, so this is why we reserve sumo. Because... Move, get position. And we're going to light this guy back up. Because the last thing I want... Is this guy wandering around. Pizza cake. Nighty night. Alright, so then the victor gets its chance. It's probably going to break cover from the hill. Yeah. Question is, is it doing it on a sprint? It must be doing it on a sprint. Yep. Alright, so back to the top of the order. Witness. Yeah. I, I need, 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 capital N, need you to clean up some of this trash because I'm going to run out of crowd control before they run out of murdering me you have one okay technically you have two jobs witnesses witness you already took care of one of those jobs that was like turn three this is the only job you have right now Get it done. Roger that. Firing on target. Un where that came from. Believable. O for four. Okay. Reporting. Let's continue to do what we've been doing. Make paradise move. As you wish. And set fire to this griffin. Okay, this is all right. Now, Commander Apex is a way better shot against shutdown targets than Sumo is. So I am going to have her continue to bathe this Shadowhawk in flamers to keep him shut down. I don't want a melee attack, though. That is the last thing I want to do. Thank you very much, game. Let's just continue to cook this guy. Whoa! Look at that guy light up. All right, so now Sumo. Sumo. Buddy. Buddy old pal. Buddy old pal of mine. I need you to start making your... making your pay here. You're going to kind of have to deal with this one-on-one, -on -one, and I apologize for that. If your buddy Witness had done any of the work that he was supposed to, you would not be in this position right now. But as it is, I need you to start working this victor with your flamers and shut his ass down. Nope. Nope. Got a little bit of heat damage, but not enough to matter. Oh, don't even. Yeah, I didn't think so. Meanwhile... That seems alright. You know, at least in terms of survivability so far, I have not been exploded. My lance is still intact. I'm running out of autocannon rounds to actually try and pull this tactic off. 
And here's where the victor messes up Sumo hard. Oh, no, or worse. Hang on, here we go. Okay. It was just a leg. It's not like the urban mech was moving that far anyway. This is rough. Oh, and he's going to have the refire penalties and all that. Boy, I think... Yeah, well, actually... That's curious. I don't know if I noticed refire penalties when I made those consecutive attacks before. All right, Paradise. I could. I think we need to do a rotation here. I think we need to do a little bit of rotation. Paradise, I want you to move. I want you to come over here. Oh, you know what? This is a bad idea. I needed to keep Sumo on him for his higher hit percentages. Well, too late for that now. Good to go. Can we get this guy shut down? the dodges. Dodges are hurting, but at the same time, we're applying some heat damage. Um, boy, this is rough. I might be able to juggle this for a turn, because even if, if I if I don't flamer one of these two mechs, they're going to have to spend their entire next turn powering back up. At which point, they do that, I bring one of my mechs back over, hopefully hit them again with enough heat damage to shut them back down. So I, I might be able to do two shots at this victor to try and get it into a shutdown state and then come back on these two guys here. In fact, I will hold back Apex assuming I get the shutdown here. Evasion is still a problem for me. And I... You know what? Let's go to Witness. Let's go to... Let's go to... No. 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 Let's... Mm, well, okay. I can't go to witness. I need to do what I need to do. Oh, boy. Tactics. All right. That should put him well into heat scale. There we go. Cool. All right. Three threats contained. Witness. Okay. So, problem one. When I stand you up, you're going to have a stand-up penalty. Also, that was a real funny-looking stand-up animation from here, from this angle. Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so yeah, 85 chance to hit because he stood up this turn. He's also got the refire penalty. So the refire penalty is there. So this turn, I am actually going to... I, just, I think I'm just going to move a little bit. The movement doesn't even really matter all that much. I think it probably would be smart if I pull back to try and get into cover with this urban mech. No sense taking oh, any no. more additional... My mech is try to minimize the damage that this urban mech is going to take. Um, and we're not going to fire this round, so I'm just going to brace it. So now here's where we figure out what's going on. We're going to reserve Apex. Does he actually shut? Does he actually wake up? Okay, so he actually did power on. Um, which is unfortunate, because I don't know if this guy is also going to power on. So let's get up on this guy. Move order confirmed. Let's light this candle. Roger that. Cool. That was enough to shut him down again. Single heat sinks. The terror of the modern inner sphere battlefield. And here we go. Now is. Oh, but is he actually going to power up? <laughs> Getting into. Oh boy. Oh boy. We are. We are losing. We are losing our control over this situation wholeheartedly. Okay. I'm 
we're going to ignore this guy right now. This griffin back here, he, he ran and he evaded and blah, 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 whatever. He's, he'll get his turn. Not going to worry about that right now. What I am going to worry about is this Victor over here Reporting. murdering the crap out of my dudes. Um, Sumo, who does not have evasion, much to my chagrin. Can you move to a position with cover and get a line on this victor? The answer is no. How about I do another rotation? Sumo, can you get to this guy over here? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We'll get to this guy over here. I'll use paradise to go to the victor. Apex to stay on this griffin. Better shut this guy down, Sumo. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. You have orders? Maybe I need. Maybe sh <laughs> you know what? Actually, I'm going to rotate Apex over this way. Can I get you to cover in a good way? There's no line of sight there. How's there no... Oh, there is a real tall ridge right here. That's unfortunate. Um, <laughs> Let's go here. Apex, we're going to rotate. And flamer. Engaging target. Which should put this victor into shutdown. It did not put the victor into shutdown and suddenly my entire worldview is destroyed. Oh my god. How did that not get there? Well, we definitely can't let that victor go. How might I help? Paradise, I need you to kind of guinea pig for me. I need you to be I need you to be the target that everyone wants you to be. I need you to shut down this victor. Come on. There we go. This is still problematic, however, because I'm gonna let Witness take his turn. I get a called shot there. I get a called shot there. This guy is actually <laughs> in a weird twist of fate because of Witness's errant firing before. He has mostly disabled this mech for its weapons. It's still dangerous in melee. I recognize that. But if I let it wake up, it is actually much less a threat than the freaking Shadowhawk right in front of it. That's in cover. I don't like this, but I need to remove from play some of their guns if you just hit him in the face. That's not the face, Witness. That's not even close to the face. Meanwhile, this griffin gets to run roughshod over my team. And of course, he's going to go after the urban mech because that's the thing holding this whole plan together. Can't take many more hits like that. And he woke up. Oh boy. This Victor must have just a giant pile of single heat sinks in its chassis because he is coming out of shutdown states awfully fast. Okay. Let's start with the easy stuff. Yeah. Sumo. Move here. Turn here. Flamer this guy down. He, he must have just barely woken up because... I'm looking at this heat scale thinking he should be shut down. So, for this, for the purposes of this, this should shut down. Keep the victor shut down. Dump him. All right. Step one. Step two. Paradise, I need you to actually be the, the, the focal point of this griffin's fire on the hill. I need you to ignore him, however, and... 
keep working this one over here. Okay, so let's think about this. One, did I position myself wrong? No, I can't get a line on him. Like, this griffin is more dangerous than this griffin. Because this griffin has all its weapons. However, this griffin is already on the heat scale. Eh, this one's a little bit from his own volition. This one is 90% to hit. This one's 75 to hit. Okay, so I can actually overcome the 75s to hit with inspiration. I can use that now. I'm going to let this guy off the hook. Take my inspiration. Ah, you people don't know who you're dealing with. Fire at this guy. 95s to hit. He's got cover? Yeah, he's got cover. That's fine. We don't care so much about the cover. Target acquired is locked in. And shut down. Cool. All right. So, the three most dangerous enemy mechs in the field. Whoa. Well, hold up. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Um, Apex. Aye, aye. Please do us a solid and turn this guy off. Flip his switch if you don't mind. Should be easy enough. Confirmed. Yeah, there we go. All right. Witness. Witness, baby. This is all on you. You have... <laughs> Witness has three auto cannon 10 salvos remaining. Which means I cannot head cap everything that's left in their lands. I can get three of them at best if... If... He actually lands the headshots that I've been commanding him to that he has failed five times in a row. I do not like those odds. If I get one head cap out of this, I think I call it a victory. And then I'm going to wolf pack the crap out of what, what is left of these guys. I just want to make sure... The refire penalty gone. Refire penalty is not gone. But but that's a wash against the shutdown target. can't see it because I don't have a webcam recording my reactions. I am shaking my head. I just... How did we get here? Ladies and gentlemen, how did we get here? This plan did not... Like, half the plan is working. Half the plan is working great. These fire starters with their flamers that are probably overpowered, they're doing great work. This guy right here, I feel like is maybe the weak link. Ah, <sighs> well, enough equivocating. He's standing right there. He shut down. His head is he, like it's it's right there, majestically framed in the background by trees and sky. Like. You could pull the targeting reticle down from above slowly until you lined up this shot. And you would have a clear window to fire at right here. Right here. He even frames it with the geometry of the mech. Right there. Witness. Witness. Witness, my man. My man. Come on. Get this done. Firing everything I got. 0 for 6. 0 for 6. And I'm starting to wonder if my original video of the Wombo Combo, where I took Kintaros and Centurions, I'm starting to wonder if that was just the luckiest fluke in the world.
Well, on the plus side, the victor managed to stay shut down this time, so we don't have to go chasing it around. Uh, we will, however, I think we'll do another rotation here, because I want... I, I think I want sumo. Whoop, nope, still don't want to quit. What's the plan? Still don't want to quit. Alright, so we're going to set Apex over here. Just moving out. And... Oh, I really should pay more attention to my lines while I'm moving because now we have problems because I was going to fire on the Victor. Up above, this looks great. You know? This is a this is a nice like what could possibly go wrong here. I'll tell you what could go wrong here. This giant freaking ridge. Okay. This victor is going to wake up next turn. That's all it's gonna do. Sumo is going to I'm still gonna rotate him off. Uh Apex, you know what? We're getting to the point where we actually need to shoot things for reals. Let's find let's find our guys. Um, take a couple of shots. What the hell? Affirmative. Need to start working. Get to the real, the real uh, the juice, the real meat of this situation. All right. So paradise. Actually, you know what? Hold up. Sumo, can you get in here? Yeah, you can get in here and you can get line on this guy. Flamer him to oblivion, please. That will shut him back down. Yep. Paradise. We're going to ignore the victor just for the moment. Paradise, I need you to be evasion, evasive. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see which guy is which. That guy is the guy that's intact. That's his, this is good. Target him. Flamer him. Shut him down. Cool. I would not be surprised... All right, so witness where are we at. I would not be surprised if this griffin just kind of rolls back and starts flinging indirect missiles. It's not what I would do. I would walk forward and punch these little mechs that are in front of me, but, you know, that's just me. All right, if you move... If you move to here... Look at this beautiful arc. you got a good chance to hit over there. So let's, let's just... On my way! <laughs> let's let's stand right in the mouth of the beast. If we look at this guy. Target shutdown minus four, refire plus two, still at 95%. So even though we've got the refire penalty, our chance to hit is good. But as we have learned, you can't seem to hit the broadside of anything today. Is there anything important? On, on, okay, this is weird. I have a weird... I want to I wanna try something. I have a weird feeling. I don't know if there's anything to found this feeling. I'm going to brace him. I'm going to pass a turn. I'm going to clear the refire penalty. Get into the next turn. My fire star is going to get kicked. Nice. See, that's what I would have done. AI is coming, coming, coming alive. All right. Speaking of coming alive. All right. This, this tenuous grasp on crowd control that I have had, starting to evaporate. All right. You know what? You know what, buddy? You know what? Yeah, you're in a big valuable mech. But you know what I got to say to that? Moving to position. Not only am I going to flamer you, I'm going to start corn your ass out. 
because this is going to go real south real fast. I only have two more auto cannon salvos to use, so I may as well start Let's doing the dirty the work line. of killing this lance off. That's right. I want you to just sit right there and think about what you've done. Sumo. You have, you have a much better chance to hit things when they are not shut down. Out. And we are also going to have you work this guy from behind. I mean, I'm going to shut him down. That's like not even a question. But... Yeah. Okay. Now... Paradise. Need you to move. Be there in a jet. Spin on the heels. Turn and fire. Turn up the heat. Shut his ass down. Okay. All right, witness. You have two more chances at this. Two. Dos. Zvi. You are standing literally next to your target. O for seven. And I believe at this point we'll take we'll take our one last shot. We'll take our one last shot. This guy is retreating to fire LRMs. Nope. He's retreating to cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power back up. What the Oop. <laughs> Laser crit. Pizza. Pizza thing, ain't it? Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Not even going to pay attention to the refire penalty this time. Apex. Start with Apex. Why are my medium lasers not lighting up for this shot? Oh, because this is lighting up for a melee attack. That's why. Our heat scale is fine. His heat scale is hopefully Targeting going to get real gross. That. Oh, that sweet, sweet AC-20 ammo. I was really hoping to salvage that. How might I help? AC5. <sighs> you know. That's how it goes. Oh. Paradise, I need you to actually be a target. Come on, man. That right arm is awfully packed full of guns, considering how much space it has to put guns in. <laughs> oh, good old unseen designs. Commander? So, witness, I know you're going to have a refire penalty and all that, and I know, I know this hasn't gone, you know, exactly according to plan for you. You've got one salvo left with this AC-10. It would it would be really swell. It it would be it would be great if you applied those auto cannon rounds to the face of this victor, and so we could actually you know claim that we would get salvage for it. It's right there, right right there, right there. 
or a little bit above, a little bit below. You know, I'm not actually sure where the uh, hitbox is on a, on a Victor. I'll have to go back to my core and poke around with that. But you don't care about hitboxes. You just care about percentages. Your percentage is 95 to hit. You even get a even get an offsetting bonus for target size. Not that it matters at all. Ah, oh boy. Placing odds on this shot not hitting the head now. I think I think you take the I think you take the bet that says he doesn't hit the head. Let's see. Commencing alpha strike. Unfreaking believable. Apparently it only took him eight tries to eventually get around to figuring out that if you point your gun at its face, you accomplish your goal. And now we... Alright, so... We're going to take the Pyrrhic victory here. We're going to lay claim to that victor as salvage. And we are going to simply murder the crap out of what remains of this enemy lance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can you guys can wake up all you want. I now have you technically four to one. But this means that there are three of you, and there are three of my flamers. Three fire starters, which means you guys are in a real situation here. You just don't get it yet. Move order received. Why not? Why not just shoot at the guy's head? Why not? Oh, you know what we shouldn't do, though? We should not overheat. That seems like bad policy right now. Machine guns don't do any heat, so I can't actually get... Can't sink any there. That's fine. We'll turn off a flamer. That's probably... It's still going to be more than enough to keep this guy shut down. Foosh, foosh, foosh. Hey, machine guns, maybe we just kill the pilot. Kill the meat, keep the steel. Oh, All right, Apex. It. Go shut this asshole down, please. Do your grizzly work. Turn off the lasers. Got good heat scale, because she's got probably guts. I think it's guts. Oof, that did not apply the kind of heat damage I was hoping for. Sumo! Where's this guy at? This guy's shut down. So we're just going to ignore him for the moment. Get up on this guy. Piece of cake. And check our heat scale. Seems good. Oh, I heard explosions. Oop. Hit the pilot. Alright, so, witness. You're out of auto cannons. You got one. You got one, buddy. Look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this beautiful, this beautiful salvage that you more or less, you more or less did the right thing to at this point we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get Bruce Lee on some guys because your small laser ain't gonna do it by itself oh boy ah oh, somebody pissed so so far Though we've only really been able to pull off the combo on one mech due to questionable auto cannon calibration. Yeah, let's blame the calibrations. We're going to get out of this with a win. In fact, do we just. just. yeah, let, just leverage the. leverage the murder? We're going to get out of this with a win. Which we did not get out of this matchup with with the commandos and the And we 
pretty much, you know, in terms of damage sustained, Reporting. we're in a reasonably good spot. shot from behind. Sure, why not? Do we have scale for more flamers? Sure, why not? Locking on target. So we're going to win this. It's a foregone conclusion at this point because these mechs are Stand never, by. never going to wake up again. Move order confirmed. They're going to be shut down from heat. Their pilots are probably roasting alive as we speak. Copy Which, that. on the cruel and unyielding battlefields of the 31st millennia, not to be unexpected, might be a little bit inhumane. But, you know, they, they knew what go. they signed up for. Hey, you're missing a leg, but you can still jump. Make it happen. And we're going to shoot this guy with a small laser. Right in the face. Right in the face. Right, Commander. Except, again, we need to get this Urban Mech's weapon systems entirely calibrated. I think it's the whole package. Clearly, the targeting computer is off. It keeps saying that the right torso side is where the head is supposed to be located on the enemy mech. Because that's where Witness seemingly keeps hitting. But that's fine. Just get past this unpleasantness. Awaiting order. Uh, and here we go again with the dots being not great. Really didn't mind to move over here, but whatever. It's fine. So. Yeah, what can I do you for? No problem. No respect left for these guys. Complete disregard for my own safety because ha ha ha, if you were to ever wake up you might actually punch me. But you know what? That's not happening, Duder. I actually probably should have just gone from the front. Whatever. It's fine. At this point it's literally just clean up. I almost wish you could force the enemy pilots to white flag and surrender. Hey, hey, watch the heat. Yeah, sure. Commander? Sure. Coordinates received. Ah, <laughs> uh, why not? Insult to injury. Bye. I'll be taking the LRM 
rack off of your mech for salvage and selling it on the open market because I don't think I can I'm use those anyway. Waiting for orders. Mm -hmm. Moving out. I don't think I chose to move there. But whatever. Paradise, can you get behind this guy and finish the job, please? Reporting. You can't actually get behind this guy and finish the job. How about you just move behind this guy and finish the job? Coordinates confirmed. Target acquired and locked in. Hey, 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 watch the goods. Try not to, uh, try not to blow everything off of that mech, please. Alright, that's foolish. We're just gonna move up on this guy and punch him in the face. We got any other places? Nope, that's not what we wanted. Nope, that's not what we wanted either. Any other places to stand? Nope. Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. Move there. Move up. Throw a punch. Kick. Headbutt. The small laser seems broken. I don't think it's been animated. the magical I'm shut down and overheated but still managed to stand up maneuver. Yes, Commander. You know what? Reporting. Guns. Called shot. Yeah, we're overheating. Whatever. This doesn't need to kill this thing already. Very nearly killed the stupid thing already, but not quite. Watch it, Commander! I'm going to overheat! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm aware. Up, I am aware of your Please situation, you. Paradise. Think of the greater good, however. The greater oh, good being this guy getting burned alive from behind. There we go. Clean out the trash. So what have we learned here today? We've learned that flamers in their current state in the beta, which is pro maybe untuned, maybe tuned too high, too hot, too dangerous, easily capable of causing the enemy mechs to go into shutdown so you can get your cult shots. In fact, you're able to lock down the entire enemy team or pretty much most of it. Proven that before. See, we prove it again. When your shot hits, you get that sweet, sweet head cap. So it's possible it took us the entire ammo loadout of our urban mech to make that happen this time, which is real unfortunate. But we got the victor with it, so that's a plus. I think the verdict continues to be doable as a tactic. Possibly difficult, depending on scenario and situation but definitely made easier with flamers instead of trying for knockdowns with SRMs. 20 rounds, a long slog to get through this. Came out pretty clean, minus a leg. Spent all our ammo. But ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a victor. C almost, almost entirely intact. Took a crit to one of the ammo bins, took a crit to the SRM-6. I'm sure those could be repa repaired or replaced. Hose out the cockpit. Replace it. Slap some armor on the back. We'd be good. This would be some good salvage. If this were an early campaign mission, and we were punching above our weight to begin with, even if we didn't get any of this for salvage, if, if we got this... That would put you a long way towards setting yourself up for a good, heavy-hitting lance. 
And with that, that'll be all for today's Battletech in the Morning. I am, as always, Captain Nips. Continuing to try and punch above our weight. Continuing to try and make those tactics work. Those strategies work. Even when our autocannons refuse, simply refuse, to do what you want them to. I'll see all of you tomorrow in the next video.